The Sad Siren. The first man eaten I loved more than myself. Every bite took of him, I bit two from my own flesh. But he was formed from earth, while I am made of motion. He diffused as I grew to tidal. I attempted to break my mouth on the shore, only to gather back as a winged fish. I flew towards the sun to be had by its fire, but without the cup of sea to drink air from, I couldn't keep conscious long enough to ignite. With great effort, he remained alive for days. As I injured, so did I stitch the wounds with my hair, bandage gashes with seaweed, but the scent of him would be on my hands. I couldn't think right in its presence. Hope drunk would believe I could lick and survive on taste alone. The Angry Siren what my sad sister won't tell you are the things the half-dead man called her as she stitched his arms back on, licking his toes to keep herself from eating his face. I was there to replant her teeth when she bashed her jaws on the shores. It was I who cleaned ash from her scorched skin. While she battled her nature, he spat in her eyes and shat in her mouth, yelling for. She plucked out every feather and stayed silent for ten days, but inevitably, she remained air as he turned to dirt. What was left of him fell under the sea, a sunken boat. She couldn't help but resurface, rising as summer night. Only now she sings only of him. She is never present nor future. Eyes coated in spittle, the scent of him on her tongue gags me when she speaks. She was all I had of home and he kicked in and out her doors. For that loss I prolong every sailor's hurt for at least one full night before swallowing pain like cups of sugar at a sunrise bone feast. The Little Siren The sea witch gave me the face of a swordfish to impel my sisters with. She says, if I drink them, I will grow feet and lose my wings. Then boys will like me. But to do this, I must care nothing for sisters. The night Circe cannot remember. Drink too much. Bottle of ambrosia down my own. Remember burning in a corner like a hand was striking matches on the back of my throat. Remember a panhandler said to me that night, drink has sunk more ships than Neptune ever will. Sounded like a line a man's taught to say for someone else, especially seeing how drunk the messenger was. I ignored him and continued down. Remember waking in a barn with a woman screaming, with my goat? The word with sounding like a thing she was taught to say instead of fuck. What she meant to say is, fucked my goat. I have no way of knowing if I didn't, other than Penelope says, I did. Vision happens regardless of sight. Dear O, I've been told drink makes truth froth from a soul center. When we first met, you slurred your words, said I had eyes bright as birds, how you wanted to hold flight. I thought you were making a punchline of me, how as a child a tree branch stole my eye, so I handed you my glass globe replacement and left. I never expected you to follow after me knocking on my door with gifts of return, explaining how you love to play marbles, entering me with my eye in your palm, seeing my face, not as a void, but a window. 